Dance fans, I've got one question for you. Are you ready for Taylor Swift's new tour? New York artists reveal secrets to make it in the biz that you don't want to miss and find out how you can win free tickets to Trisha Brown Dance Company performing at UCLA. Lots more dance news coming up on this week's Dish, so let's get started. The Trisha Brown Dance Company is taking over the UCLA campus, literally. From March 30th through April 7th, you can find them performing iconic works at all kinds of indoor and outdoor locations throughout the university. What's the best part, you ask? You could win free tickets. All you have to do is submit your Dance Plug profile before April 2nd, so be sure to enter yourself to snag this amazing opportunity. Documentary series Made Here highlights New York-based performing artists and not just their time under the bright lights. These videos cover some of the toughest topics in the life of a performer, including real estate, money, family, balance, and so much more. I'm sure you guys know what they're talking about. If you haven't checked them out, they're definitely worth a watch, a great resource for learning how to navigate the artist's lifestyle, not just in New York, but all around the world. Remember Radiohead's video for Lotus Flower? Well, lead singer Tom York couldn't resist teaming up again with choreographer Wayne McGregor. And this time, he's showing off his dance skills along with Fukiko Takasi for Anjanu. It's the latest video for Adams for Peace. Now, the duo articulates the sultry and contemporary moves of McGregor, and with sensational style and coordination, the two move in sync to make an authentic mating ritual. Now, there's a lot of buildup of emotional attachment between the two, and it really lends itself to the song's title. If you did not know, Taylor Swift kicked off her Red Tour this month with tons of dancers, aerialists, and impressively elaborate stage and costume designs. It certainly packs quite a punch. With choreography by Tice Diorio, Swift is planning out ready 58 performance dates that run through late September. Are you going to go see the show? She and all those dancers are definitely going to deserve a solid massage at the end of the tour. Hey, we're downtown live at the Orpheum Theater for the So You Think You Can Dance Season 10 auditions. I'm amongst all the hopefuls and we're going to see what they got up their sleeve this year. Come on. What have you done to prepare for today's audition? Just come up with a solo, go over some stuff I could possibly throw into maybe an improv section. Coming with ideas basically in an open mind. I'm expecting the unexpected. The unexpected. That's good. What about you? You, you know, I'm expecting to just have fun. Take it on. Like, I, I mean, harder than I did last year. Now I know a little bit what to expect. I actually don't know what to expect. I'm just going to go and, and, you know, take in the experience and whatever happens, happens. It doesn't matter who gets it or not, you know, because we're all so talented and unique. This is the last city, so it's people's last chance to come, and so you know, they, they turn out. So we'll see, we'll see, but it's very exciting. Ten seasons down the line, right? It's a great show, you know, everything, for everything about it, from the dancers who I find so incredibly inspiring and talented. Because you've got to remember that, that nowadays pe most people do their jobs so that they can either become rich or famous. And that isn't necessarily why dancers do that. In fact, it's not. Their career is about that short. They're constantly injured. They're normally not paid as well as everybody else. They're normally the backup people. The only reason you dance is because you can't imagine your life not dancing. And that is a, that's a lovely thing to be around. Your tickets to the New York City Ballet's 2013 Spring Gala will not only score you seats to see some of the biggest primas, the ballet will be accompanied by clarinetist Richard Stoltzman and the vivacious vocals of Queen Latifah. You heard me right. She's going to be singing George Gershwin's The Man I Love for an excerpt of Balanchine's Who Cares. Stoltzman will be playing for the world premiere of a new Christopher Wheeldon pas de deux. Sounds like a show to me that's not to be missed. Did you know that Queen Latifah is no novice to dancing? <laughs> she has shown some moves of her own for musical roles in shows such as Chicago and Hairspray. Boosh. I'm Scott Hislop here at the Alex Theater for the third year in a row to celebrate dance with all of Southern Cali and of course you, Dance Plug. This is the eighth annual must-see dance event of the year that brings together the best and the brightest dance companies on one stage. We're really fortunate to be here because of the support from Glendale Arts and the Alex Theater and the Flourish Foundation. And it's an absolutely beautiful show. The 
theme of the show stretches over humanity, personal achievement, family. There's humor, storytelling, and great contemporary and modern dance. I think what's really, really important is how we really need to share dance in the educational system. This partnership is so important because um, it's a chance for these kids to connect with the professional community that they normally would not get to, and they get to see them in an intimate setting. And it really touches them because it's very personal. It's not just about technique, it's about the actual process and performance of a professional dancer. Since I left Bancroft, I had the opportunity to go to Los Angeles County High School for the Arts. So I've been accepted to draw free ballet, and that gave me a wide opportunity of, to go out and dance. I create a family, mm -hmm. and part of that family, just like any family who can be dysfunctional, but we all really love each other and support one another. So all the people in this, this concert at some point have you know, walked through the studio and touched us in some way. What Jamie Nichols does is really spectacular and yes. fantastic. It's one of the best things we get to do all year. Jamie, you're an amazing woman. You do so much for the LA dance community and it's an honor to work for you and with you and experience the ride of Celebrate Dance with you. Stretch Dance Company is preparing to portray a true Holocaust memoir story in their new production, I Have Lived a Thousand Years. Based on the book by Dr. Livia Beton Jackson, the show integrates original music and choreography into a uniquely educational and emotional work. It will be touring at universities throughout the U.S. and internationally to share the work and engage students in this powerful piece of history. Want to help bring it to life? Well, you can contribute to their Kickstarter campaign online, so do it now. Friends, it is time to make way for Axiom. What is it, you ask? Well, it's a performance fusing dance, acting, and theater into one powerful production. Brought to you by artistic directors Dina Thompson and Zach Ryan Schlegel, the show is rooted in the importance of dance's historical impact. Yes, it is meant to compel the thoughts and curiosity of the audience. You can catch it at Fay Dodo in LA on March 29th and 30th. Tickets are online and at the door, so grab them now. And that's not all, dance fans. On April 2nd, Spellbound Contemporary Ballet takes the stage at Irvine Barclay Theater. It's an Italian contemporary company that brings athleticism and elegance in equal measure to make for one captivating performance. Hi, I'm Janelle Genestra, and this is Dayan Tubic, and we go by Day J. You're watching Dance Plug right now. Holla. This is our intermediate hip hop combination. It's super easy, fun, it's kind of sassy and groovy. So just get into it. Grind up on it, girl, show them how you ride it. Always keeping it interesting, the long anticipated album release of Justin Timberlake has arrived! Finally! JT, baby! We missed you! Back for a slightly more mature approach, the 2020 Experience album has something to fit your every need. It was hard to choose, but one of my faves is Push Your Lover Girl, and it's perfect for couples choreography. With a smooth hip-hop soul beat, this groove is 3D. And just when you think it's over, Timberland brings in his twist, perfect for that essential JT hip-hop breakdown. Peel. A dance instructor may have made her final bow out of the teaching studio. Amanda Feenstra has been charged for improper relations with one of her female students. Apparently, when the 17-year-old student broke it off, Feenstra would not stop calling and was even stalking her. The student finally confided in someone, and now the 30-year-old teacher can kiss her dance career goodbye. Sadly, this is just another in a long string of cases where a dance instructor has taken advantage of a young student. You guys, that wraps it up for this week. Before we go, make sure to check out this week's featured plugger, Spencer Ryoma, who studied all kinds of dance styles and has even performed with the likes of Mims, Little Bow Wow, and Soldier Boy, just to name a few. He's out here studying at the Millennium Dance Complex, so give him a big thumbs up. I will see you guys very soon. You know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Benjamin Allen saying think big and dream big.